This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Hymnal 101 with Higher Things. The first time you open up a hymnal, one of the things you will encounter is this. It's a lectionary, but what is a lectionary? Well, it looks something like this. It has a bunch of different verses and a bunch of different columns and rows and so forth. You'll see words such as Epiphany and Lent and Easter and Christmas and Advent. And then on the headings, you're going to see words such as the Old Testament and the Epistle and the Gospel. But what on earth is going on here? Well, quite simply, my friends, is this. The church has its own calendar. Yes, its own calendar, a church calendar. And with that church calendar, there are different seasons, a part of that calendar. And with each season, there are appointed texts that are to be used uh, by the church to be proclaimed and sung throughout those different seasons. And so what this means for you as the baptized, if you are wondering, man, what are we going to be doing next month? Well, just simply open up that lectionary and you can see the text that the pastor will be preaching and teaching on in the upcoming weeks. Not only preaching and teaching, but how the hymns are going to be selected as well. You see, the hymns are typically selected to correspond with that particular reading of that particular day. And so for you as the baptized, you are able then, again, to see where you are going with the church, what you're going to be receiving, what you're going to be hearing and singing for those upcoming Sundays. But what happens when you get through that whole lectionary? Do you tear out the pages and develop a new one? Now get this, this is really quite awesome, is you repeat it over again. Yes, you go through the whole year lectionary, for instance, that one year lectionary, go through the whole year and when you're done, you start all over back at the very beginning and go through it again. And so as a result, you are going to get a consistent diet of this word of God over and over and over and over as that word is given to you uh, from that lectionary as it's preached and taught to you and sung. So I hope that helps as we consider this. Uh, in the upcoming weeks, we're going to be looking at things such as the Psalms that are to be sung, and then also into the divine services, as well as how to use this hymnal in our private devotional life, and especially at home for you parents and moms, uh, for your families as well. So this is Hymnal 101 with Higher Things, and we'll catch you next time.